Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can join the beta program for the hotfix for Flight Simulator 2020, which will be released uh, for the Xbox, but is currently in testing, right? So if you want to help Asobo testing that hotfix, uh, then I'll use this process to go to it. One warning is that once the official version will be released, there is a chance that you need to reinstall part of Flight Simulator. That happens, I would say, also on the... Uh, uh, computer or on the PC version of it uh, but there are there's not a lot of information about that yet so be aware of that so what you need to do is you need to start the Xbox Insider Hub and inside that uh, hub you need to go to the preview section and then scroll down and there you will find the flight simulator beta version and there you will see okay, hey you need to join it uh, after joining this uh, preview please restart your Xbox PC to receive the last update etc so Gonna click join and then say okay continue and then it will say pending right it will say pending for i would say a few minutes in most cases and then it should I would say automatically say hey you're joined uh, what's really critical at that point in time is that you restart your xbox um, because else you won't receive the update there's for some reason there's a restart required in some scenarios uh, let's see if in my case it's the same right it says hey launch the game you own this but let's follow the official recommendation and uh, let's go to the uh say main menu and then restart the xbox so we're going to restart the console so we'll pause the video for now and then i will continue recording uh once the xbox is up and running again so the xbox has been rebooted so let's see if there's an update available uh, to speed up the process you can either go to the store but thinking about it let's do it a different way uh, let's go to uh, my games and apps and then see all there you will have the uh, update section and in the update section you will see all the updates which are available right so you can either say okay yeah, update everything and then go back to the menu go to the queues uh, if you want to prioritize flight simulator update then you Click on the, I would say, uh, button with the three, uh, what is it, horizontal lines, and then say, okay, hey, update now, uh, because that will ensure that the Xbox uh, Flight Simulator update will be installed earlier compared to the other updates. Uh, so it's a 1.8 gigabytes, 1.9 almost, right? So it's a critical, I would say, it's a large size. And contains updates for, I would say, some basic airports because it looks like that the issue was introduced by that. Uh, not specifically by the world update, but more by the, I would say, pre-update, uh, which came, uh, which updated several airports uh, in the existing content. So once it's done, right, you can simply go to the home menu and you can uh, start a flight simulator. If it says this, okay, hey, there was an issue wait a few seconds and then try again uh, if you're lucky it will launch again of course it doesn't guarantee that it fixes all, all the issues that's why there was already a second hotfix or an updated hotfix being released uh, that was uh, late last night uh, so let's see if it works now and then if it works right we can start playing uh, flight simulator again uh, including the world update uh, for Italy and Malta which was I would say which is definitely worth uh, looking at so well, let's see. If it works. This part worked perfectly also for me. But then after I would say they pressed the button it generated some issues. So it loaded up till here and then started crashing. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and let's see if it works. Syncing the data. Checking for updates again. Probably doesn't find much. I at least that's what I expect. Or maybe it will, because of course they updated the uh, basic airport, so it could be that this one also comes up with an update. Well, in this case, not right. So 
that's good news because that saves you a lot of time i'd say downloading the update because you saw that it already is would say pretty i would say pretty large so if you're having i would say a slower internet connection it might take some time um if you did use the workaround to reset the uh, reserved space uh, which was eventually meaning clearing all the world updates uh, and all the uh, marketplace uh, items which you bought then don't forget to reinstall them right after you did this um, that, that's really important maybe you already did it right because what i did is simply removed all the uh, additional things so removed the reserved space then start flight simulator and then installed everything except that last world update because then at least i could play flight simulator but since there's now a hotfix would say in beta let's help us about test it and let's see if we can um, say help them finding a fix for this nasty issue which affected both the xbox version but also the xbox cloud version if you ever used it uh, so this will take some time but it looks looks pretty promising um, and then once it has started you can start uh, flying again right it again this update a hot fix it's not humps to guarantee that everything is fixed because there were, were still some issues reported in the fora about the crashing uh, of a flight simulator so do test it and report back to Asobo if you encounter any issues via the official methods which means that there's no fora forum post where you can react on them i say okay, hey i've still hit issues with this this and this try to be as specific as possible because that helps them understanding okay hey this why it happened uh, so it's still loading right loading always takes uh, longer uh, if you make a recording so here it is uh, so it loaded successfully uh, everything looks okay so have fun flying again uh, if you don't want to install the beat update then you probably need to wait a little bit longer so then you can use the other workaround which i posted earlier uh, by removing the reserve space there's a link in the on the top of this uh, video where you can click on to go to that video here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time